As requested in this video, I am going to show you the possible recording setup if you would like to connect your Monocaster Lite to an audio software. And for that, we will use Ableton Live as our DAW. And also in the setup that I will be showing you, we will use the background music, let's say uh, music from YouTube, from the same laptop where we will be opening the Ableton Live. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the things cables we will be needing in this setup. First of all, this is the Monocaster Lite and this is the laptop where we will be opening the DAW, the Ableton Live uh, Plus, the voice meter banana and also this is the laptop we will be opening, our background music which is songs from uh, YouTube, let's say karaoke songs from YouTube. Our condenser microphone is just over here and the cord for that is this one, so XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack and I will be uh, using this uh, earphone to monitor the audio plus this cord here. So this is USB type A to type C. Normally this comes when you buy or get a mono caster light. Okay, and now let's uh, start the connections. First, let's connect this uh, microphone. Okay, so one end we will connect uh, to here. Okay, there you go. And then this other end we will connect uh, to this uh, sound card, Monocaster Lite. So you have two ports here for microphone. You can use either one of them. Let's use mic two. And the earphone to monitor the audio. I'm going to connect it to to here, to the one that says output. And now the USB type A to C, we will connect the type C to this uh, monocaster light. So there's only one port here for type C, which is this one, USB C, and that's where this one is gonna go. And then the other end, the type A, just locate the uh, USB port of that laptop and you connect this other end over here. And now we're all set. As you can see, I already turned on this monocaster light and from here, just remember your record volume knob is on high, otherwise whatever you're doing, whatever recording you're doing, it will not pick up your voice because this uh, microphone is connected to here. I suggest connect your monocaster light, turn it on before you open your Ableton Live. And once they're connected, uh, and let's say you also open the voice meter banana. So what you will do is tap the speaker right there. And okay, so tap this one too. And then make sure you select the voice meter input, not the voice meter aux input. So again, voice meter input. If you want to go to your sound settings for you to see, let me show you. So this is what it looks like. So your output is set to voice meter input. And if you're curious uh, to your input at the bottom, so the input is the mono because we will be using this microphone which is connected to this mono. Okay, so now we're all set. Let's X out from there. Now uh, over here, let's go to option from this uh, Ableton Live. Go to option and then preferences. And from here under audio, make sure it's set to MME slash direct X. Audio input device is set to voice meter aux output. And then there should be lots of options there. So as you can see, so this is what I selected, voice meter aux output. And for the audio output device, I selected voice meter aux input because we will be uh, uh, using uh, the voice meter. And for the input uh, configuration, if you are curious what it is, so it's just simply the, the default one. So all of them are highlighted. You don't have so many options there. And also the output, so they're both uh, turned on. And uh, from there, let's now X out from here. 
And now let's go to Voice Meter Banana. So this uh, software is free. You just have to uh, Google it. Uh, Voice Meter is uh, free software. So you just uh, Google it, Voice Meter Banana or Voice Meter. You should be able to see something like this. And if you click the top one, the one that says VB Audio Voice Meter Banana, you should be able to see something like this and it goes to the banana right away. There is also potato. Potato is a little bit uh, overwhelming. So that's why I'm using only the banana. And to download the software, you have to scroll it down a little bit. So this one here, and I use the first one. Okay, and uh, once you downloaded it, just follow the prompt and you should be able to, to uh, download it yourself. Once it's downloaded to your computer and it's once you open it, it should look like this. So from here, hardware input number one, what I'll do is I'm going to be selected or actually selected MME microphone mono. Again, that is because this microphone is connected to this mono caster light. And hardware input number two and three, we will not be using them. So it says select input. So again, we will not be using those uh, two input. And virtual input, this is the this is the audio from the music we will be using from this laptop, which is let's say the YouTube as I mentioned. Okay, let's say for example, we will use this uh, music over here. So if I'm going to play this one, you should be able to see it over here uh, blinking. So that means it is detecting our uh, the audio from, from this uh, YouTube uh, song. Okay, let's play it. There you go. So as you notice, it, it has something like that. So that, that means something is coming up. And if you use your earphone, which is connected to there, you should be able to hear that as well. There you go. So if I'm going to play it, there you go, so I can hear it. The A1 here, as I selected already, the MM speaker number two. So this is the overall audio of your microphone plus the music you're playing from the laptop. This is where it is gonna go. So A1, I selected MME speakers, uh, which is this mono, because this earphone, I connected to this mono. So again, for the microphone, do not highlight the A1, otherwise you will hear uh, double audio for your vocals because this one is connected to the mono and we selected our speaker for both the background music and here as the mono. If you turn this on, you will hear your voice twice. So that's why I only uh, highlighted the B2 um, for the microphone. And for the for the virtual input, which is this uh, YouTube song from, from this uh, laptop we're opening, uh, I turn this on so for me to be able to hear it because I want to hear the, the, the song or the music that I am playing. And same, I highlighted also B2. So both our, our vocals and the background music will be routed to, to our hardware out. Okay, so if we're going to, to play this one, let's play this one again. Okay, there you go. And if I'm going to turn this off, it, there you go. I don't hear it, as you, but as you notice, it's still playing over here. So that's why we have to turn, we have to highlight this one. Okay, let's uh, pause it a bit. And uh, this one here, uh, you don't need to turn this on. You can turn this on later. I don't, uh, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you why you have to turn this on later, but we can just uh, uh, maybe don't highlight this one for now. And uh, so again, over here, A1, I set it to speaker because I'm monitoring it uh, through this earphone, which is connected to this uh, monocaster light. Now let's uh, go back to the uh, Ableton Live. So as you notice over here, it is detecting already my voice sound check testing one two so as you notice those uh, blinking green lights over there that means it is detecting maybe we will uh, delete this midi because we will not be recording midi okay let's delete the midi let's just leave the audio and by the way if you know already a little bit like me uh, with this ableton live it's up to you if you want to record it like this way or the other way so something like that so it, it's up to you it's your it's your choice okay and and now okay so let's open again the YouTube song something like that 
And now let's do a recording sample. Let's say for uh, let's say we were only using vocals. We'll not be singing, uh, as if like uh, recording a podcast with the background music playing as you uh, talk. Okay, so let's uh, maybe lower the volume for our background music as I showed you earlier. And so, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, lower the volume for this one. Uh, again, you can use the volume control from the YouTube itself, or you can use the volume from here. Okay, so now let's uh, go over here. Uh, so over here. So uh, from here, maybe we'll use one and two, so it's a stereo. And once you are recording, do not turn this on, the auto, just leave it off, because we are monitoring with this uh, earphone, which is connected to the mono. And was set already from the voice meter uh, application, we, uh, from the voice meter banana, we selected the mono as our speaker. So from here, do not turn this on, otherwise you will hear a double audio. So again, when you are recording, leave it off. Okay, so you have to arm this one for you to, to do recording. So make sure this one is highlighted in red. And then now we will uh, tap the, uh, the circle or record button over there. There you go. I am now currently recording the audio that you are hearing. That is now the recorded audio from this Ableton Live. And as you know, and as you notice, I'm only uh, playing or I'm only recording my vocals without any background. And again, for podcasting purposes, let's say, for example, you want a background music. I am now be playing this background music and this uh, background music should be uh, recorded also uh, from here, from this Ableton Live. Okay, let's uh, play this one. Okay, there you go. So as you notice, you should be able to hear the background music being recorded and me talking. Sound check, testing one, two. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to pause now this music. I'm going to stop this recording. Oh. Okay, there you go. Now, as you noticed earlier, I let's go back to a voice meter. So from here, as you notice, this one is, uh, I highlighted now this one. So this is uh, highlighted because if you want to listen to the audio you recorded from Ableton Live, so again, as I showed you earlier, don't turn this on. Uh, instead, to listen to this uh, audio or whatever you recorded, you just have uh, to, to highlight the A1 over there and you will be able to hear whatever you have recorded. So let's play this one. And as you know, there you go. And as you know, and as you notice, I'm only uh, playing or I'm only recording my vocals without any there you go. So as you notice, I can I can hear this one uh, because on the voice meter, so from here, if this one is not highlighted, even if I'm playing it over here, I will not be able to hear that. Maybe just uh, follow my settings over here, like highlight this one and this one and that one, and you should be able to, to do some recording. Okay, and now let's do a sample recording, let's say for singing purposes. So as to my settings over here, I'm just gonna set the microphone to 10 o'clock and my monitor to 50%, and the echo, I'm just be setting it to maybe nine and uh, the volume music i'm just going to be setting it to about uh, about uh, 10 o'clock and then from the voice meter so i'm just setting the the music uh, to maybe negative 10.8 or anyway uh, background music from youtube or music from youtube they are uploaded differently some are too loud some are, are not as loud so it's up to you to maybe test and and Select what you preferred. And now let's start recording from here. And I will be playing this music also. Okay, there you go. it over there and I'm going to stop my recording over here.
And as I showed you earlier, to listen to what you've recorded, so again, go to your voice meter banana, make sure A1 here is highlighted, otherwise you will not be able to hear that. Okay, so let's uh, play this one. There's here. no one being your There you go. So anyway, that would be your audio output if uh, you're going to use uh, this uh, settings. That is all I can share for today. I hope uh, this video gives you an idea as to how to do your recordings using the uh, music from the laptop, which is pretty much YouTube songs or karaoke songs from YouTube with the use of your Monocaster Lite and this uh, DAW or audio software, which is the Ableton Live. And that is all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing if you haven't done yet. And hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.